let's go ahead and look at how monetary policy can help us get back to long run equilibrium if we see an expansion due to an increase in aggregate demand. And so we have that rightward shift of aggregate demand. Let's call this new short run equilibrium point B. And we see if there's an increase in aggregate demand, we have the price level increasing. And we also have GDP above potential GDP. So we're in an expansionary period. Remember the Fed has a dual mandate. They have to both get maximum employment and they have to stabilize prices. What that means is the Fed is trying to get the prices back to stable and they're also trying to get GDP back to potential GDP. Well, how could that happen here? Well, here what's gonna happen is we are going to see contractionary monetary policy. So we have contractionary monetary policy. And what that means is we're going to raise the interest rates. We're raising interest rates because prices are starting to get a little higher than what we want. Remember, we need to stabilize prices as part of the dual mandate. So we're going to raise interest rates. Recall that raising interest rates will make consumption, investment, and net exports all decline, which makes my aggregate demand curve come back to the left. So just like with a recessionary period, we're gonna see the aggregate demand curve come back. And we'll see point A equaling to point C. We will get the GDP back down to the potential GDP, and we will stabilize those prices. So again, just like when there was an aggregate demand shift to the left and we were in a recession, the Federal Reserve is able to get back to potential GDP and stabilize prices at the same time. And that's what we call the divine coincidence, being able to satisfy both parts of the dual mandate when you're doing monetary policy.